Well, with an unemployment rate well below the national average, some Oklahoma companies are experiencing a problem most states could only wish for. More jobs than there are qualified applicants, which is why a school in central Oklahoma is gearing up to fill the need. Joining me now is our Courtney Dehoff. As the home of the U.S. Strategic Oil Reserve, Cushing is known as the pipeline crossroads of America. And just down the road at Central Tech in nearby Drumright, they are meeting a critical need for specialized technicians to work on the pipelines and keep them safe. It's a not so traditional pipe cutting. Celebrating the grand opening of a facility that is sure to prove as vital to the economy as the liquid gold that flows underneath the soil in what is known as the most significant trading hub for crude oil in North America. With all the uh, internal, the uh, shale activity going on throughout the country, uh, th this would be an asset for really for a whole, whole country. But a critical piece of the never-ending maze is missing, safety. And Central Tech and Drumright, just miles from Cushing, is stepping up and providing the missing nuts and bolts at their pipeline and safety training center. Senate President Brian Bingman. And what you see here today is, is a need in the industry for training for uh, pipeline safety. So for Career Tech to invest the, the money and the resources to have this facility here is huge for not only for my district here in Creek County, but for all of Oklahoma. Last year they trained over 27,000 uh, people for the oil and gas industry, and oil and gas certainly is one of, one of the major uh, components in uh, our economy in Oklahoma. And people may be surprised at just how major of component oil and natural gas are to the area. Representative Lee Denny. Growing up in Cushing, we did not know that. Uh, it truly was a secret. We had refineries in Cushing, and you knew they were there because, oh, seasonally they emitted quite a strong odor. And we used to joke that that was the smell of money. It's a, one, a, one of the state's most valuable assets as far as I'm concerned. I think it's something that can be used for economic development. It's also something that we need to protect as far as national security. But just as important as protecting the resource, we must protect the workers. And until now, there was a major void in pipeline safety training. The economics. Um, pipeline safety, um, your workers' comp, trying to keep people, you know, the safety factor involved. Um, I think this is very critical as we move forward. Uh, companies are trying to be very efficient in the way they do business, so I think it's important that you, the safety factor, that's a strong component that companies look at in, in their workforce. So it's, it's very important to have the trained uh, workforce that knows all about the safety. And companies are recognizing that. It's required by the company we work for. Jason White is a student in the class and says safety is important in all that they do. We put in gas lines and fix leaks, install anodes. They'll have another leak. So normally there is and as teacher Hal Westro says, we depend on people like Jason. The pipeline, one of the energy business, is extremely important. And without the proper operation, we not only damage the environment, you can hurt people but nobody would have fuel, either to heat home, run cars, or anything else. And a pipeline is the most efficient way to transport fuel from one location to another. And for now, at Central Tech, they'll just keep clicking away, one step closer to safety. All inside a 16,000 square foot training facility containing fully simulated oil and gas computer controls, pipeline maintenance equipment, laboratories, and much more. Well, it certainly sounds state of the art, and I guess just one more component of an industry that stretches across our state's economy. It really is, Rob. The oil and gas industry accounts for 300,000 jobs and roughly $14 billion in labor income. All right. Thank you so much, Courtney.